recall mom and I leaving for the Dakota around 7 p.m. And I believe we got there around... Thirty minutes later. Uh, within about fifteen minutes of arriving at the Dakota, We had been served some bread and butter, which came complimentary with the dinner. We were having at the Dakota prior to their karaoke night starting, which if I recall, Started around 9 p.m. and lasted for some hours. During which I sang a total of three karaoke songs. Focusing on songs that I have sung before but hadn't sung in a while. First... 16 Tons by Tennessee, Ernie Ford, then Clocks by Coldplay, and then Nice to Know You, Nice to Know You by Incubus. For the meal, at the Dakota, I got my usual of the salad with orange slices, Broccoli and fried rice, which isn't actually what you might think of first when I say fried rice, but are kind of these little crunchy things with the consistency of shortcut noodles but they're but unlike noodles they're kind of hard and stiff which is what makes them crunchy Uh, they're basically the equivalent of croutons in a salad. I got my usual dressing of house ranch on the side to pour onto it as much as I felt was needed without overwhelming 
the original taste of the salad. I got my usual protein of steak, medium well. While what mom got is actually an appetizer, if I recall. It was essentially to get some big meatballs. Covered in marinara sauce and with some, if I recall, ricotta cheese. At the center of... the four meatballs. I was given the last meatball. As mom couldn't finish that last meatball. The meatballs were here and the ricotta cheese was basically here. All in the center intersection of the four meatballs. The meatballs laid the foundation in each corner, and the cheese was put on top of that foundation in the center of it. I decided not to bring the polystyrene block that I designated for the new Spider-Man drawing, which I, as of now, have not started yet. But I've picked out all the Sharpie markers I'll need for that project, most likely. But at the time uh, that we left for the Dakota, it had been raining and was still somewhat raining. So I couldn't really couldn't really bring the project. that blank polystream block under risk of it being rained on. Through the reusable, uh, I would say paper or a canvas Wegman's reusable bag. To describe the material the bag's made out of, I would say it's a tote bag, but it's like a tote bag, but it's not shaped like a tote bag. It was nice to um, meet with mom's friends again, uh, though I generally don't talk much since the loud music that plays during a karaoke night kind of discourages that. 
Uh, though I do enjoy showing... my polystrain drawings and... excuse me... and there were... some people that I've seen regularly at this point that I didn't see. When we were at the will the other day, and thus I hadn't seen it at least two weeks, and in that time I had finished the Leprechaun Cup, so I could show them that. One of these regulars, like the Hispanic woman that I drew with a jacket that has a Hispanic floral embroidery pattern. That I drew over a course of days using reference images. Excuse me, that I searched on Bing images. And since uh, he liked uh, that drawing so much, it gave me the idea to do another such drawing in the future. Prior to Mom and I leaving for the Dakota, roughly from roughly from three twenty to four twenty PM, I walked to Wegmans and back. Primarily for exercise, but also to return some container deposits to our local Wegmans. And I picked up some litter. As I often do on these walks. And... Threw most of it away, but I also recycled what I could from that litter. It was supposed to start raining by 4 p.m., Moderately, according to weather reports that Dad told me over the phone at one point, shortly before I started the walk, but it only ended up Sprinkling at most for the whole walk to and back from Wegmans. Basically, just a little 
rain, raindrop, raindrop here and there. I recall getting up around 11 in the morning. I might have woken up at one time at 8.15 in the morning, though I'm not entirely sure on that, but it was around 11, 11.15 in the morning that I got up. And around 2 p.m., I walked to the corner store to get a gallon of whole milk so I could have milk for when I had again poured honeycombs three times into one bowl of milk the first time I poured the honeycombs in they went in before the milk then inherently it was milk first for the two subsequent times that I poured honeycombs in since from when I poured the honeycombs in the first time I had already eaten them all by the time I poured honeycombs in the second time I got back a quarter from the container deposits I returned at that local Wegmans.